So finally, James Harden has pushed his way out of Houston. We obviously expected it to happen sooner rather than later, and Brooklyn was one of the teams interested in Harden's services from the very beginning, and now they've acquired him. Wow, on paper, Brooklyn now has three superstars, and great ones. In reality, it remains to be seen how it will work out. Personally, I think this has a great potential of being a catastrophe on the court, but let's go through this bit by bit. So first, let's look at the trade itself. It was a four-team trade. Brooklyn Nets obviously get James Harden, Houston Rockets get Victor Oladipo, Dante Exum, Rodion Skurts and a bunch of draft picks. Pacers get Karis Levert and a second rounder, and the Cavs get Jared Allen and Torian Prince. I won't start to grade this thing, but I think the Pacers won big time. Getting a stud in Karis LeVert for Oladipo, who also kinda wanted out of Indiana and wasn't the same player after his injury. Okay, but back to the big pawn of the trade, James Harden. It was talked before the season and at the beginning of the season, James Harden to the Brooklyn Nets and now Brooklyn has gone all in. They don't have a draft future, so their future is now with James Harden. Like I said, on paper, three of the best players in the game. Who wouldn't want that? But this can turn into such a disaster. Brooklyn has given away a couple of really good young players. Workers. Real hard workers. Their depth has obviously suffered and yeah sure they'll get some players later in the season, maybe after buyouts or something, but I don't think any of the players they could get will be as good as Karis LeVert and Jared Allen. So it's all on the starting lineup. It's kinda like Houston in a way, the superstar power is obviously much bigger here, but they don't have a lot of other contributors besides the starting lineup, especially with Spencer Dinwiddie out. So there will be a lot of pressure on the starting lineup, and especially the three superstars. I'm sure they can handle it, but you do need some other contributors as well in the playoffs. So why I think this has the possibility to be a really bad situation? Well, it's just because of the players. I mean, this isn't your usual big three. In Miami with LeBron, D-Wade and Bosh, you had Bosh who took on a lesser role doing a lot of little things. D-Wade was exiting his prime and LeBron was your best player. In Golden State, you had Steph who also likes to pass the ball, Klay Thompson can play off the ball for the whole game and still score 60, so Kevin Durant had it easy to fit into the Warriors pass happy system. Here in Brooklyn, I don't know man, there's just one ball. Who will want to play off the ball? My guess is probably KD, cause he's such a great shooter and he is, I don't know, I think more willing to adapt to certain situations on the court. James Harden for the last 8 years has only known one way of playing basketball, which is to dribble the air out of the ball and shoot it or pass it in the final seconds of the shot clock. I'm not sure that type of playstyle will sit as well with two more superstars as it did with role players. And Kyrie? He thought he didn't get enough time on the ball when he was playing with the most unselfish and pass-happy superstar in LeBron James. I mean, what do you expect to happen here? And that's why I said welcome to hell Kevin Durant. If he thought he didn't get the ball when he was playing with Westbrook, then wait to see what happens here. And he should get the ball, he's better than Harden and Kyrie. I had my doubts because of his injury, but the dude is back, he's great. As for the rest of the Brooklyn team, it sucks for those who are in a contract year. You will have much fewer chances to play, shoot, dribble and prove your worth to the rest of the league. Besides the on-court issues, how about all the potential drama? Brooklyn already has enough of it thanks to Kyrie. It all started with Kyrie not speaking to the media and now he hasn't played for a while. Nobody knows why, he apparently hasn't told anyone why he's not with the team and when he'll come back. But hey, maybe he silently said to the front office, get James Harden or I'm not coming back to play. Maybe that was the case. Who knows, but he's very sensitive, if you will, so at any point of the season, if he's not happy with something, he can just pack his bags and not show up the next game, which isn't exactly the best thing for team chemistry. Harden hasn't really shown professionalism either with how he handled his last months in Houston. Partying, not showing up to the camp on time. When he did show up, he was out of shape and still is out of shape. Obviously, he was doing everything to get out of Houston, but it's still not good optics. And he's asked for superstars before. He's gotten Dwight Howard, Chris Paul, Russ, and every time something didn't work out. Every time something was wrong or not as he expected. After a while, you start to think maybe he's the problem. 
I'm not as worried about KD causing drama cause he's more of a professional in my eyes. But maybe in support of his teammates, he could start some distraction as well. Who knows? Anyways, this should be a very very fun season. Three superstars is good and all, but considering their playstyle and how much they need the ball and add in their egos to the mix, it has the potential to be a great fail. What do you think guys? Will this work in Brooklyn? Will they get to the NBA Finals? Will they win the championship? I mean they should be one of the favorites to say the least. Or will this really end up badly for the organization? Please tell me what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like for the video and if you enjoy my voice or my takes from time to time, please consider subscribing to the channel as well and enable bell notifications to not miss upcoming videos. Thank you very much. This was Pawn Herbal Prince and I'm out. Thank you.